freaking plane immediately. Plane again, dude. Yo, yo, yo. And now another freaking airplane. I just landed here in the voluptuous, beautiful, back lot dumpster, lovely, lovely city that is Las Vegas for a layover on my way to Sacramento to go hike on the PCT with, uh, with, uh... You know him. You love him. Might even hate him. He sure hates a few things. <laughs> Why don't we just get out to Sacramento and, and hitch out there and to the PCT and, 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 go, and go meet this, this mystery man. Epic travel montage. I thought we'd be eating your dust. Cause Kyle was like, Foster's just gonna rip. We probably won't see him till camp. Yeah, I didn't think so. I wanted to hike with you guys. Yeah, we've been I mean, You're only out here for four days. So. Hello there. Introducing um, the, the new buff. How do you like it? It's amazing. Twinkle Toes' mother made it for me. About 10 miles in for the day. Met some awesome PCT hikers. Obviously met up with Kyle, Flossie, and Phoenix. I ate a questionable egg sandwich that made the trip from Georgia all the way to here, the PCT. I inspected it this morning and it passed the uh, look test and the smell test and then it passed taste test, but my tummy's feeling interesting. I did throw up earlier, but you know, that's just cause, I don't know, could be anything. Could be the fact that my legs are noodles, I've been an editing couch potato for a few months, and I'm freaking ripping it, as Kyle would say. I don't know. You got me tripping. <laughs> <laughs> that's great B-roll, man. That's the cat hole I dug for the morning. <laughs> Yo, we made it to camp, dude. <laughs> Today was a freaking ripper. Camp, dude. <laughs> freaking word camp, dude. Anyway, that is my rendition of Kyle. 
Honestly, if I saw that damn thing in my living room, I'd stomp on it until it was a small brown stain. Here's the boys. Oh, anyway, it's dinner time and it's camp time. Goodbye. Good morning. Just finished uh, my number one priority, which is number two. Now I'm finished packing up. The boys are going to take a little bit longer. I'm going to try and get to this water source in like about two miles. Chill and eat and drink there and wait on them. That is a vanilla carnation breakfast, a chocolate carnation breakfast, and a couple tablespoons of Skippy natural peanut butter, all blended up into some hot water. That's about to go down my gullet. About six miles in for the day, 1500 feet in, just a little bit more of this climb here and then, I don't know, I got like six miles trying to lunch at this supposed really nice lake swimming hole, so trying to make it there. The boys are ahead of me because uh, they go hard on the MF and paint, you know what I mean? camp oh it was all right you probably can't hear me I'll do this not next to the water <laughs> improvised you know this right. is this is um I'm, like, I'm a game time player don't even tell me anything you just do whatever your <laughs> heart leads you to On the menu tonight is, uh, well, no, that's too dark. Thank you, Avatar, for <laughs> on our Penodiac leaving me your, uh, your, your leftover homemade meals that you hated eating. Yeah, let's do that. Dinner has been consumed for the most part. I'm, I'm not, my appetite's not where it should be. My body knows I'm hiking because it's tired, but my stomach hasn't caught up, you know what I'm saying? So we're working on that, and uh, the boys are playing some ball, as you saw, some, some frick, I already forgot the name, whiz, whiz, frizz, that's not even close. <laughs> so far though, as far as error messages go, despite the toe sock, the double layer toe sock and darn tough method, uh, I think we got a blisty on my left foot. My hips were feeling it, but that's just because I did 12 miles without stopping because I really wanted to get to camp. <laughs> and oh, I got some sun. Now I see why Kyle is always like, whoa, whoa, look at my face. Those last 12 miles were super duper flat. Like 
the flattest miles I've ever seen in my entire life. Like consistently 12 miles, complete, like, it was, it was wild to me. Uh, I was like, I'm just gonna push all 12 to camp and chill at camp for longer instead of chilling earlier. Anyway, rambling over, I'm gonna eat some food and put it in my face hole and then probably go to sleep. So, probably good night, yeah. High five, just kidding. morning and we got like seven miles to this to old town old station we're gonna snack some brekkie and uh, we'll move on after that so see you at breakfast after some b-roll probably You know, these guys are going, they're going hard in the MF and paint these days. And you know, they say like, I repeat jokes. It's hot and I am sunburnt and got blisties, bad tummy. So I'm, I just got lots of reasons to be lazy, which I love looking for a reason. So I'm gonna meet the boys in Bernie tomorrow and they're gonna go hike this like dry flipping section in the heat that I didn't feel like doing. <laughs> Cause I'm not a through hiker, baby. At least not right now. Wait. Ready? You're already no, starting, yeah. I'm hey, no, I'm, I'm not start. halfway crisscross. Oh, you know what? I have to put it through the hooks first, though, right? Because you don't even have that. Are you ready? Yeah, oh, I'm ready. One, two, three. Oh yeah. Oh, Damn it. oh we're already on the second one. Okay. Damn it. Oh, this is, this is good. This is good content. One. Ready to hike. 20 minutes. Damn 20 it, that was seconds. like a millisecond off. This is yeah. how you tie a shoe, it's hella good. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, that's hot. Look how dirty I am. Actually, it's too dark. Look how dark I am. <laughs> uh, yeah, it was, uh, it was flipping, I don't know what I want to say. I, I, I get so flustered when Kyle's here. He's just so famous and popular. Look at, I mean, just look at how sexy and dirty he <laughs> is. He's just good. Anyway, yeah, I stayed here in town, and they got here in town. We met at McDonald's. We'll be zeroing, well, they're zeroing tomorrow. Oh, cue up this sick action sequence of what we've been doing, of flipping and having water gun fights. Yeah. Anything but hiking, basically. Yeah, anything to not hike. It's it's 106 degrees, and it was 110 yesterday. It'll probably even get hotter, but it's uh... Uh, That's so cold. It doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter anymore. Where's baby at?
Does he want me? Cal Hay Tykin! Dude, I can't read this fucking. Sorry. Dun 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 this heat warning, I can't read his handwriting. <laughs> Tiring. The creative process, everyone. I saw an animator, I was walking, I had no idea he was nearby. Oh look, there's update. She can come give us an update. Anyway, no, Nanaman like came screaming up next to me, and I was like, oh. oh. And it was uh, so exciting to see a little otter eyes. This so. is gross. Oh. It's over. <laughs> Good morning. Hey. Um, the... The boys are, are heading out. They have some <laughs> and some things that you will, I'm sure, hear about via Kyle's explaining slash complaining. But this is not the outro yet. Oh no, I still have to hitch back to Sacramento, baby. So, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> oh, I missed it. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Hitched in a burning knee. Oh. Hiked through some burnt trees. Oh. Okay, y'all. They are now finally hitching out of town. But that also means that I'm hitching to the airport to Reading first, then Sacramento, tag along, but say goodbye to Kyle. You won't see him ever again on this channel because they're not gonna, they're not gonna make it. Don't leave. No, just kidding. Stay, stay with us. Um, it really has been a pleasure, but duty calls, you know, poop, and also, you know, I have to edit some videos for somebody. To all the flippin' haters out there who say that hitchhiking is flippin' dangerous, well I say you're a bunch of silly gooses because I just rode in the car alone with a woman of the age of 77 who picked me up and me being a 23 year old man and let me ride an entire hour with her and I look like an absolute fool now on the interstate freeway ramp for I-5 on the way to Sacramento from Reading, let's go. You know, I like to think my camera's my secret weapon because it makes me look not homeless, but we gotta get some B-roll, baby. Just got a ride, 20 minutes up, so that's some miles down. Let's get a little closer to Sacramento. Someone literally just was coming off the off ramp and they and they rolled their window down and they were like, we'll go get you! And I was like, whoa! So yeah, wow! It's now a solid one, maybe two hours later. Those people that said they were gonna get me never showed up. I walked over to the travel station, got some water, and they were not there. It's very sad. The dude who flippin' dropped me off at this stop was like, oh, it's a nice little travel stop. It's a big travel hub, huge hub. You'll have no problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. that was fake news, freaking. It's not a freaking huh. So it's three o'clock now. My plan is by the time it's 4.30, I'm gonna order an Uber to take me back into Reading, which is only like 20-ish minutes away, because that guy dropped me off, he brought me 20 minutes off the road, and hop on a bus that leaves at 5.20. I'm gonna look like a fool, there's somebody driving up. freaking 18 wheeler right there just pulled up and gave me this freaking just, he gave me this pizza man nice oh going back to freaking reading Well, we've made it to beautiful, lovely, gorgeous Sacramento uh, after a day of unsuccessful hitching out of Reading, but, and a bus that never showed up, but I made friends with a total stranger in typical Luke fashion and uh, got a ride with him in an Uber, split it with him. Then he ended up paying for the whole thing, man. He was so nice. He's the freaking, probably, I can't say too much about him, but uh, he just he just has such a cool story, dude. Well, my high school boss is coming to get me and I'm gonna stay at his house. It's just like, dude, y'all, I don't know why everybody doesn't have friends everywhere.
I'm in St. George, Utah, on my way to go see some friends. And uh, yeah, I'm hitching the last hour. Maybe if we don't get one by dark, we'll Uber again. The cop thwarted my efforts immediately. <laughs> He came up and he was like, yeah, yeah, hey son, uh, yeah, so in St. George, you definitely, you definitely can't, you know, this, you, he was just basically telling me I was a silly goose, and I mean, he was right, I am a silly goose, but I'm just, I'm cheap, you know, but he was cool, they're cool as long as, you know, I don't know, I can't say that. Well, since I didn't really do an outro, and I also didn't really explain what I'm doing here, then here's your little two-for-one deal. <laughs> After realizing that to and from Sacramento I had a layover in Las Vegas, I decided to stay for an extra couple of days and go to southeastern Utah to go visit some friends from high school. Because old friends are great and southern Utah is among my favorite places. So as you enjoy these tasty shots of southern Utah and traveling to and from there and back home, remember to like that smash button and subscribe because we just hit a thousand, which is awesome, thank you so much, but I think we can get a little higher. Da, 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 da. It's the motherfucking Eagle Double G. Snoop Dogg.